Hey, what's going on? Back with another one. Back with another one. Yeah, last night, uh, shouts out to Ask Daniel. And he's right about, yeah, stay away from these women overseas, man. These lost bros, a.k.a. passport bros, man, they delusional, man. Like, I've seen a lot of bullshit lately. It's been crazy. You know, I'm sitting in my room. I just came back, you know, from outside, of course. You know how it is, you know, just being on my shit. It's normal, but it's pretty much it. But like like I said, you know, he's right, man. These dudes acting like he, he called them bozos and shit and niggas didn't like that. But that's true, you know. But last night was fun. You know, I had fun last night. It was like Monday, you know, getting away from the so-called New Year's. Yeah, that, the New Year's for me is in the spring. So you're right, you know, I, I deal with the Hebrew calendar, not the Gregorian uh, Edomite calendar. But we, we're not going to do that. But we're going we're gonna to talk about some things. Uh, what you expect from me this year is a lot of recording. Uh, I'm going to do less live streaming. I'm going to let you know. Yes, I will do Thursday Thrills. Yes, I will also do pretty much of the same Sunday Madness until it gets to the 60 edition. The 60 edition is going to be a special. I'm going to play a live stream. It's going to be a little early, but I'm going to do my thing on a live stream. And then I'll talk about it and explain, you know, I probably won't play... I will say episode two, I'll praise his good moments. Now, you can see the whole thing for yourself, the playlist, of course, the best moments or should I say good streams that I'll choose or whatever, but it's pretty much it. But, you know, but I may, you know what, I may, I may pick some streams that were viable, but the popular stream, you already know that went raw. We'll play that one. That was a crazy stream. And we'll talk about a lot of shit. It's epic, but that's the most viewed stream. We're going to play that one for a minute, and I'm going to cut the early part where, where the bullshit start, and I'm going to skim through it because he said a foul word, you know, derogatory. We're going to skim through that. Y'all can watch the early half for yourself if you heard what he said, but, you know, I'll skip that. We'll get how the conversation was good, and we're just going to skip it, you know, because y'all already know the example. We're just going to get into the meat of it because, you know, that's that's the whole thing for me. But it's pretty much, you know, you're going to you're going to see it's going to be parts of it. I'm going to skip because he's going to, you know, we're going to do like we normally do, like you do it on the live stream, of course. But, yeah, you know, that's that's what I'm going to do for Sunday Madness on the 60th edition. I'm not going to do it in the 50s yet, but I'll do it in the 60th edition. So be on the lookout for that. It'll be probably, I don't know, next month or the spring because the spring I'm going to be light. I'm not going to do weekend streams no more, like especially Sundays. I'm just going to drop some content like pre-recorded content. I'll be good. But the Black History Month, I'm going to focus on the things that are necessary in the so-called Black History Month, you know, because it's a difficult month. I know people are going to be stressed and they're going to be dependent on things. And it's pretty much the same. You know, it's just not like what we're here for. You know, I got to set my little premiere settings. Uh, let's set this up right on time. Yeah. Let me set this premiere up. Normally, let's set this. Normally, I don't do this. Since it's Wednesday, 8.15, my normal time, and set the premiere. We're going to set this. Yeah, yeah. You know, I am just finished up my recording. I did such and such. It, it's some new recording. Excuse me. I don't know what I said. Let's see right here. Yeah. Finish up recording. Yeah, I'm going to record. But y'all here. You know what y'all gonna say, but you know, it's pretty much it. But yeah, you know, I'm just finished up some recording on other end on another network, so I'm pretty much good. Yeah, I won't schedule it. So be on lookout for a recording Wednesday. I, I've quoted it. Individualism, be on the lookout for that. That's pretty much it. So it's like we hear and we're we're standing and standing by what's what. 
So yeah, and I and I did a uh record and said, Is this your king? I mean, they 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 shut that boy up. But it's pretty much the same. You know, you pretty much see what's going on in the world and then, you know, a lot of people get caught up on the wrong shit. And they didn't expect people to be mindful of it. But you gotta understand something. The world's changing. Like, you know, YouTube has their little policies. They say you can't go raw like you used to. I'm gonna be careful with certain words. I'm gonna I'm going to go extreme, but I'm going to tone it down a little bit. I'm just going to be like, Ugh, you know, you know, especially outside. I'm going to be good. I had to change a few titles. If y'all noticed, yeah, I had to change that because, you know, YouTube is on that censorship like they always done. YouTube's done, man. Quiz is kept. You don't see it in the near future because wartime's here. What did I tell y'all about 2024? 2024 is going to be a hell of a year. Whoever's going to be president. These companies ain't going to last long. So get what you can off my shit and just, you know, record or whatever. Get what you can. I mean, download it. Download the stuff. But, you know, you know, save it in your memory bank, certain streams that you like. Download it because it's going to it's going to maintain what you're going to do in the future. Because 95 percent of the time you're going to see this and people get caught up and then there they are. So normally. I don't see why people get caught up not knowing you know what i'm saying like that's the thing about what's going on these days so again you know it's just i don't understand why people just get caught up on it you know and that's just that's how it is but you know they try to say you need some lighting and all that no no no, no. i got this mic right here talk to y'all as always and i know niggas get caught up on their own yeah but it is pretty much it but like I said, we see this all the time and then we expect people to come through. And like I said, Thursday thrills is a thing. It's Thursday. I'll end that real soon. Probably. And, you know, in the summer, you'll not see Thursday thrills. But, you know, in the spring, you ain't going to see it. I'll, I'll pull I'll pull it, bring it back in the summer. I don't know what episode I'm on because I, I may go longer because I may end that and may do Friday streams probably in the summer. I haven't had an idea yet, but I'm not, you know, because it's things are in the works. I don't know about Fridays and things like that. I got to see my situation because I ain't going to be streaming as much. Only time I'm thinking about going back to Friday streams and name it something. It's just an idea. I had ideas to do it last year, but I got caught up with other things. So, yeah, Thursday Thrills, yeah, you got the 45th episode. We're still going to do it in the winter. A little bit of it. We're going to stop it in the spring. So the 45th edition is pretty much it. So in the meantime, in the spring, I'm not going to do as much streams, but I'll think of something in the spring. It'll be a Friday stream and that's it. And then we'll bring back Thursday thrills. And then I got Friday as a jump off. And but I'm going to record mostly. I'm going to start recording more than I do live streams, because when you pre-record, you get your message out that way. And then people will look in it. And then when you schedule it, you just go like that. and You just get in the work in the field so pretty much I, i'm just enjoying this and yes i'm enjoying this microphone from last year it's a somewhat of a gift but i love it and i'm gonna you're gonna see me more often with it so in the daytime but in the nighttime i got my other boy in the black case you're not gonna see it but you're gonna hear the the voice of it you know i'm gonna do my thing right so it's pretty much like i just love it i just love the fact that we can do this and just like and get you your message out. But yeah, he's right. You know, those women are crazy. Um, hell of a topic last night. And a lot of people got triggered. And it, it's just some truth to it. Stay away from them, man. Especially overseas. They fucked it up. Yes, they fucked it up. They fucked up everything. That's why they come in here and bring all this bullshit over here. The C virus is back, they say. But I ain't taking no damn shot. I don't know about that. I, don't know. I gotta see how serious it is. I ain't doing no appointment. I'm good. I hardly ever go outside anywhere. Wait, that shit's going because it's the winter. You know, the winter is crazy. It's one of the craziest times to be in and people get caught up on other things and they got the wrong things to do. So when you're in winter, it's pretty much cold outside or whatever, you know, because, you know, to, I don't know what the temperature got in here. I'm going to see what's up. up. Let's see what I got here. What's said on the night? OK, it's going to be normal. It's like it's going warm. It's going to be raining. Uh, it's going to rain later at 6 p.m., of course, you know. It's going to get cold tomorrow. It'll be colder 
Thursday and Friday. Friday and Thursday is going to be cold. It's going to go back to normal. When it's going to be back to normal. It has this heat wave, and they try to say, it's global warming. Cli well, technically, climate change. Climate change is, is inevitable. You know, war and all this other stuff. Everybody's tan up shit. Tan up stuff, like, you know, just being reckless as usual. But it is what it is. But you keep it to a minimum. But normally, you just like, what's the point? what's the point of coming back and then you're expecting people to be more uh, fluid, but you understand that this stuff right here is going to expect more from most people. But when you get caught up in, in not understanding the fact that people just get caught up, you understand what's going on. You understand that this world is changing, but politics is inevitable. You, you, you expect people to just, sit back and wait and all this other stuff they're gonna do what they do man they're gonna do what they do so i had to take a sip my fault i've been ripping and running but then again you have to understand that's that's the time we're in so pretty much the same as always you know Niggas is going to be who they are. All these silly panels of relationship topics. They, they're just dumb. The so-called manosphere, like I said, in the red spaces, they're dead. Um, It's the end of the era. And I meant what I said when I said on this stream. Yes, I went raw. I went crazy. But it was meant to waken a certain people. It's over. Like the stuff that y'all do and talk about and add it in your titles, they, they ain't going for that. You got to do. You got to have some talent. If you don't have no talent, they're going to knock you off this off this uh platform and it's pretty much like you're done if you say anything crazy about women you know you already know it's over there's other platforms you can get away with but you can't do that in these type of platforms because they want you to be on tv if you're trying to be on tv and you're monetized you can't say a lot of foul language i'll tell you why because they try to say it's for us but really it's cap if you're trying to make money and say what we do they're going to try to censor you. And what they're trying to do is put you on TV. If you want to be on TV, they you got to be cleaned down and that's it. I ain't trying to be on TV. I'm a messenger and that's what I do. I talk about different things. I talk about current events, politics, the spirituality aspect, how the world works against this Edomite kingdom slash what you want to say, Roman, whatever kingdom it is. Same shit. But you're going to see that I'm a messenger of that. I go against the grain, not with the grain. So. I'm anti them all day long. That's who I am. And that's what this channel is built for. And it's built for a certain way for a certain audience. This is not for children. This is for adults only. Yes. It's 18 and up. No kids on this channel. I don't support that. Go somewhere else with that and leave it be. And that's how, that's, that's where I'm at with the message. But then again, you know, people get caught up on the wrong stuff. So, no, it's not for children. If they got the thing, so you're protected. They ain't going to knock you off like that. As long as you sign that, you're good. Because if you don't have it, you know, they, they'll put you on there and there you are. And you get hit. You know what I'm saying? You get hit with the with the thing. You know? Oh, my sinus is acting up. Ear throbbing. Excuse me. Yeah, ear throbbing. Woo. Sinus, I, I gotta gotta work on that, but that's okay. That happens to me all the time on the stream when I start itching my ears and start like <laughs> it's just like <laughs> and going going crazy. But that but that that happens. It happens to the best. It happens to me all the time. See on live stream, they say, "Well, sir, you could have had a dynamic mic for for uh your recording." You know, like be like one of those gear guys. I said, "Nope." This is for recording, but this, you, you hear me with these all the time. You know, I'll be flexing hard. I said, this nigga flex with Mike. This nigga get on my, get on my goddamn nerves. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm going to be back. I'm going to be back streaming with this boy. I'm going to be back streaming. Y'all, y'all going to hear it. The boxy voice is going to be back. When Thursday Thrills come back next month. We coming back harder and harder. I ain't gonna use this on the stream because I, you know, I ain't gonna flex that right now. <laughs> Cause we we're gonna be we're gonna be going hard with it. So it's like you see what you get, but that's that's the whole purpose of me understanding that 
They said, why a nigga got to have a microphone? Why he got to have this and that? Well, when you're competing against guys that are more subscribers to you, they have mics. And some don't. They scream and yell. I've done that years ago. Now I had to upgrade and look like this. Microphone's it. Microphone's it. It's standard proof. It's pretty much, you know, I'm playing Fallout 4 before I got on here. And, and it's an interesting game. That game is very apocalyptic. It's a builder type game, kind of like they do in Skyrim. But Bethesda is known for shit like that. Only cons I cannot stand is the collectibles that are required. But if you get other keys, I just found out when I did the one with the drive in, you know, I'm in right now. I got more quests to do. I found out I had the backup keys. When I had the backup keys, it opened the door. You didn't need the bobby pins. I was like, what? The? That's useless. But see, that's Bethesda. That's what they do. Because I played their recent popular games, Rage 1. The, the, the on xbox and that was a great game and then i play rage 2 and rage 2 is the most popular one it's similar to fallout 4 and that's gonna break records watch what i tell you you get everything i still love the rage series and fallout is another one i, I do like fallout look i like fallout 4 i got the game of the year edition it's pretty good there's other fallout now vegas is good too they said vegas is good too i haven't played it but if i have vegas i will definitely get that on this and get all the DLCs and things like that. But it's not really important. It's a first-person shooter game, open world, you know. Fallout, I would deal with. Because by Bethesda, of course, they did a good job. Especially with Rage. Rage came out, the first one came out in 2011. And Fallout 4 came out, what, 2015? Pretty much good. But that second game came out, I believe, was it three years ago? I believe it was three years ago. It was popular three years ago in 2020. And then it got popular... Two years ago, when I played it two years ago, oh, my God, that shit is beast. And then after that, I haven't played it in a minute. So I've been scrounging around, you know, on the game. And the game is kind of less and less. I don't really play much games like I used to. I play the ones I can have interest in, and it's pretty much it. But, yeah, you know, I've been chilling, and I've been seeing a lot of bullshit on YouTube. Excuse me, I shouldn't have said, but, you know, BS, but I, I did, but. You know, my apologies, you know how they going to try. They say, oh, they go age restrict that Negro. But it, it, is, it is what it is. YouTube is just weird like that. They pick and choose who they want to get off here. If you don't say anything, they get definitely get rid of you. If you have the right message, I've seen that. I said, oh, my goodness. I mean, th this is this is bad. So we got to we got to understand something. So, yeah, it, it, it's just what it is, man. But at this point, we're going to, um, I'm going to look at this catfish. Shouts out to Tory Rain. Yeah, Tory Rain told me about that, uh, that Paul boy. That Paul boy is sick. He said, uh, shouts out to Tory Rain. I, I want to mention him just a little bit. Sh salute to him. Great content. I don't care if he's B1. Salute to him. That's pro black. You know how it is. He said something about Jake Paul. I've been saying for years he's been trash. You have to go back in 2017. They was on that goofy, goofy nonsense for since the beginning of YouTube. They've been on YouTube for so like a couple of years, but they ain't, they ain't, they ain't ish. <laughs> you know what I mean? They ain't ish. But F them. But that's who they are. That's who they are. But it's pretty much like they've been trash for years. Who cares about them? I don't give a damn about them. But that's how people want on YouTube. They want trash content, stagnation content. I told you about evergreen versus stagnation content, what it is. They want the nonsense. They want the BS content. And it's going to be garbage for the rest of the time being. They pick and choose who they want to get off, off here. If you don't play ball, that's it. And especially if you're monetized, you're done. It is what it is, man. It's that politics in it. You know, there's other platforms you can do. And then that, that's that. But anyways, it's that's all I got. But it's just like when he said that about the deal, though, you know, the black deal, you know, the envy talking about the ice bear. I shared the uh, the stream. And I want y'all to take a look at that. It was in my community tab somewhere. I, I know if he got it or somewhere, but I want to see if he still got it. But yeah, man, you know, that that's that's some sick. That's some sick. That's some sick ish that he did, you know. Cause I, I really, I really look at dude sideways. I've always looked at him sideways, but damn, he's that low. And yeah, it's in my, it's in my feed. 
And it's a disturbing behavior. It's very disturbing. And shouts out to Absol and Bianchi TV. He talking about small hands, a.k.a. Young Ma Suprema. He's a clown. Whole nother clown. But Suprema, small hands. The big head, small hand clown. It's all about the You know, he act like he rapping or something. <laughs> That dude need to get, he need to get his he need to go outside. They they try to he try to say we don't go outside. I said nigga, you need to go outside and get the f off the internet, man. <laughs> but it's pretty much like I can't take dudes seriously, bro. Like you know, it's a lot of these dudes and they just the the pedo sinful the pedo. But you know, you know how people love them. They love them. And then shout out to Super Sly, he destroyed he destroyed that ish. But uh, see boo boo see boogie. What gave that boy that work, <laughs> man? He gave Red Suprema that work. He said, "Damn, <laughs> he cooked that boy." And then he got this nigga in Ty City's trap. I said he cooked us. I said, "Nigga, you didn't get cooked. You got cooked by a certain individual shall not be named." And he said that in a live stream and talked to this uh this Creels character, the Creels, the the banana boy. Banana man, like I like to call him, looking like Harambe in the face. Like, dude, you ain't cook shit. You ain't cook ish. Excuse me. You ain't cook ish. But shouts out to G's. You know what I'm saying? But you didn't cook ish. He said that in Tasi's chat. Dude, you use a use a use a hoe. You a hoe ass nigga, man. Like, you didn't even address me in the chat. The fuck out. Get the f out of here, dude! Like it's just so it's just so many fake mfers, like you know, dudes on here, especially niggas. It's just like they they so trash and they want to talk about all this BS in, in these weak spaces, man. Ain't nobody studying y'all weak mfers, man. Y'all clowns, y'all clowns, y'all effing clowns. That's what y'all are, and no one cares. No one cares. But you know that's it. You know, the, just like I said on the, the, the so-called red pill space, it's been dead. What red pill spaces? They don't exist anymore. That 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 ish has been done since years ago. I told y'all that in 2020. Well, actually 2021. And then last year, I told y'all that. I told you what 2020 was. Y'all had your chance. It died then. And then I told y'all two years ago, it's been over. I just came to say goodbye to y'all niggas. And then there it is. And then 2022. Y'all know where it be found. No content. It is what it is. But shouts out to everybody. If y'all watching this on this, you know, this recording. But, you know, I'll be, be back next month. You know, I'll come with some different streams, different topics. You know how it is. So with that, I'm going to say peace and shalom. And I'm out. And un until next time, I'm going to say peace. <laughs>